In 1969, the Air Force officially ended its public investigations. Which would suggest what? Well, that I mean, they knew what it was? Or didn't know what it was. Also the other way. missiles for defense testing purposes. Friend now relates this most unusual experience. It was 1959 when I was invited to attend a briefing in the security portion of this building. It seems a retired rear admiral had information about a woman in Upper Maine that purported to have established contact with extraterrestrial beings. Two naval intelligence officers were sent to investigate. The naval officers met with the woman. And she went into a trance, supposedly to establish contact with the purported extraterrestrials. And then they asked her scientific and technical questions that a woman of her education could not possibly know the answers to. Yet, as the questions were put to her, she was able to answer easily with seeming telepathic help from these purported extraterrestrials. According to the report, she indicated there was an organization, OEEV, which meant Universal Association of Planets. And that organization had a project, UENSA, meaning Earth, which was being conducted. Then an unexpected turn took place. One of the naval officers was informed by the woman that they, the extraterrestrials, were willing to answer questions directly through him, a naval commander and intelligence officer with no prior experience in telepathic communication. He took over and attempted to write down the answers to questions put to him by his fellow naval officer. The word traveled back quickly to Washington officials and a very skeptical CIA. Nevertheless, there was no reason to totally disbelieve the report of this highly respected Navy commander. Questions were put to him, such as, do you favor the government, religious group, or race? And would there be a third world war? The answer to both was no. The group then asked if they could see a spaceship. And the commander, still in a trance, told them to go to the window and they would have proof. The group moved to the window where they supposedly observed a UFO. I was told that a call was made for radar confirmation. The reply came back that that particular quadrant of the area was blanked out on radar at the time. After being briefed on all of the details, I asked the commander if he would attempt to contact me. He sat for several minutes and then appeared in a deep trance with his Adam's apple moving up and down rapidly. Questions were put to him and he answered them by printing in rather large letters using rapid but jerky motions. It wasn't at all like his natural hand. During the course of the questioning, we learned the names of some of the so-called extraterrestrials. One was Krill, C-R-L-L-L. -L -L. Another, Alomar, A-L-O-M-A-R. And another, Alpha, A-F-F-A, purportedly from the planet Uranus. Yeah, they did know what it was. 